Hello everyone, it's Amatika here and I am going to be creating three tags or large tags using the Portrait of a Lady Deluxe Edition collection from Graphic45. I'll be using those large tags, pattern paper and all sorts of goodies. Now I started by die cutting the uh, backgrounds and I used the uh, large tag die so that they fit perfectly onto that large ivory tag. And then I also cut out a piece from, pattern, from another pattern paper. And this piece measures three and a quarter by seven and a half. And this will be like a layering piece on the background itself. And since the tags have rounded edges, I wanted to make sure that the pattern paper had the same ones. So I ended up using the half inch corn jumper so that it matched perfectly. Now since I'll be laying with these on the tag, I of course round every single corner of every pattern paper. And then I want to ink the edges of both background paper and the layering piece. And I'm using Vintage Photo for this one. And I'm just gently rubbing the edges all around. And don't forget that little circle. <laughs> now this just gives a bit of a soft frame to every single pattern paper. It doesn't have much colour or anything like that, but it just adds that little touch, even more vintagey, which I love. And now that I have inked all the edges of each and every pattern paper, it is time to adhere the uh, background to the tag. I like to use liquid adhesive for that part. Uh, it gives me a bit more wiggle room and it helps me get into the nooks and crannies of those tiny little pieces like at the top. So when I place it onto the tag itself, I have a bit of time to move things around so that they fit the tag as perfectly as possible. And I'm just making sure to rub these things all over to make sure there are no air bubbles anywhere because I don't want these to fall apart. That would not be good. And now I have put foam adhesive on the back of the layering piece. You can of course use any width of foam that you have. And I just place that in the center, well-ish. I'm not too bothered about being perfectly precise. It is, I go by the way that it looks and it is good enough, so I just put a bit of pressure on it. And here I have three backgrounds done, all done in the same way as I did the first one. Now I need to figure out what I want the uh, focal point of the car to be. So I really love all those different images and stickers and the chipboard. So I decided to use chipboard for these. And I'm just picking three different ones that I think fit each and every tag so that they can give each and every tag a bit of a personality of sort. And it can take quite some time to figure out which one of these you want to use because they are so many and they are ever so pretty. Now I cut a pair of wings for every tag. And I cut them out in different patterned papers, which of course they will match since they are from that collection. And I dug a doily from my stash and inked the edges so they are the same vintagey frame to all of these. And all I have to do now is figure out where I want these to be and put them in their positions. Uh, I start by adhering the uh, wings to the back of each chipboard and I use liquid adhesive for that because well, these are very tiny and delicate and it gives me a bit again 
wiggle room to figure out how I want things to look. And I put basically one, two wings on every chipboard piece. And when that's all done, I add a 3D foam to the back of the chipboard piece because I really want to add dimension to these tags. And each and every tag will be backed with this doily that I had already inked the edges on. This one is just from my stash, it just matched perfectly. Just make sure that you have enough foam adhesive so that it covers a large portion of the uh, chipboard piece. But make sure you don't see it anywhere on the sides and stuff like that. That can happen. And now I just peel off the backing and add this centerpiece to my tag. Just love those wings, they just add that little bit to the image. Just love it. <laughs> Sorry my head's getting in the way. Just need to figure out if there's a centre dish or not. <laughs> and now that I have the image on the uh, card itself, I just have to add a bit of pearly. Now, as you can see, there is a hole in that chipboard piece. I could of course add a ribbon but I don't want to do it for these ones. So I just adhered one of the gold matte pearls to that circle so it looks like it is a pearl of some sort. And I repeat those steps for every single tag. Now that the base of the tag is actually done, I can add flowers and whatnot to my tags. And I'm using these rose bouquet and I'm using a mixture of the ivory pack and the uh, precious pink pack. And I'm just using a very strong double sided adhesive to stick these down. And I'm just placing these two roses that I've already wound together and I'm putting them behind the doily at top and the larger flower at the, uh, or well, near the bottom of the tag. Just to add even more texture and dimension to the tag. And I do love flowers, so I try to add them to everything if I possibly can. And just maneuver those as you wish, using your fingers. And those are the three tags that I created using the exact same method for each and every one of them. And of course I did add even more pearls to the background because, well, pearls are pretty, so why not? And now I'm just using several ribbons to tie to the tag. And I use the... Uh, Precious Pink Pack and the Ivory and Natural Linen Pack. These ribbons are absolutely beautiful. They are such great quality. I just, oh, beautiful texture and the feel, it's beautiful. And I'm just putting two of these through that hole. Making sure that it's not too long. I could have measured it a wee bit better, but hey, I didn't, so I'll just have to live with that. And I'm just threading these two through and see how those look. And I was thinking about tying a bow, but then I decided, no, let them be a bit more, I don't know, free, wild. <laughs> so I picked Another one of the uh, thinnest ones, actually one of the shiny ones as well, to tie a little knot at the bottom to make sure that the ribbon doesn't go anywhere, stays in place and just looks a little pretty. And I just tied a double knot to make sure that it stays and then I just cut the edges 
at an angle for both the uh, smaller ribbons, the pink and the uh, ivory one. And I cut a bit of V shape for the uh, larger one. I really like those V shapes, especially for wide ribbons. They just look really pretty. And that is the tag done, really. So thank you so much for stopping by. And we would love to see your tags created using the Graphic 45 products. So thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.